Hi, Brad here with Twist Elk Brewery. Today I want to show you guys how we set up our very first packaging line here at the brewery. When we opened our brewery, it was right in the middle of the pandemic, which was not ideal. Our tap room got shut down and we weren't allowed to like open for people to come in to the restaurant, but we were allowed to sell to go. So immediately I thought, oh my God, I got to come up with a way to package beer. That was not in my initial business plan. So we had a very small budget and I thought, what am I going to do? We looked into the canning systems and they were just too expensive at the time. There was also a can shortage going on, so I realized bottles was the way to go. I started researching bottling systems and I came across this Medusa forehead bottle filler. We actually purchased this at More Beer. It's a really nice bottling system. We actually ran this probably for two years before we um, upgraded and decided to go to canning but it's been a very strong bottling system. We can do up to 250, 300 bottles an hour on this thing. It's very versatile. You can do 12 ounce bottles all the way up to these 22 ounce bombers that we're getting ready to do today. And I did keep this machine around because um, every now and then we like to do these special releases in the big bottles, but majority I'm into cans right now. But when we first started, this was the way to go. So it doesn't stop there though. Like we said, okay, now we purchase this unit we have a way to fill the bottles. What about putting a label on the bottle? What about pre rinsing the bottle? How are we going to cap it? So we developed this whole bottling line. It starts right here. We found these crates at More Beer, and they're very, really nice. They hold 12 bottles. You can hold 12 ounce or the 22 ounce bottles, which I really like. They also sold this little rinser unit and this is designed to work with those so it's got these two little keys in here it helps you line it up and the jets go inside the bottle and it pre rinses the bottle and it worked really nice so we decided we wanted to fill this whole cavity with sanitizer and we needed to lift this up so we just took one of these plastic uh, bottle um, crates and we zip tied the unit on there and then in order to circulate the sanitizer we went to Lowe's and we actually bought one of these small little fountain pumps. It works great. So that submerses into the sanitizer solution. And then we splice the line into a little switch here just so it's convenient. You hit it. And as you can see, it's a very powerful jet system. So you just take the crate, load it right on there, hit the button. As you can see, it rinses the bottles really well. Okay, and now that we've rinsed the bottles, there's always a little bit of that residual sanitizer left in there. So when you lift it up, you can see it dripping out. And we decided to do this. It's really not necessary. It just kind of made me feel a little bit better about it. But we took another one of those and we ran it to a CO2 line and a valve. So what I'll do is kind of like a pre-purge. So I open that up, sends a jet stream of CO2 and helps push out some of that residual sanitizer and we're doing a little bit of a pre-purge on the bottles before we move it over to our bottling system. So then we got our bottling system here and we're going to go into that a little bit more in detail um, about everything and how to set it up, operate it and all that. So I'm going to skip that for now and kind of talk about the capper. So we started out with this hand capper here, which did work really nice in the beginning. I mean, we probably ran this thing for about a year and a half. Um, you just pop the cap in there, push it down with your hand, and it just caps the bottle. It works pretty good. Although what we found out was over time, it does work on your shoulder, especially when you're running 250, 300 bottles an hour, and we're doing that you know, sometimes twice a week, it starts to kind of wear on you. So we, uh, we decided to upgrade to this awesome pneumatic capper and I never looked back since. It was a little bit pricey for the unit, so if you're starting out and it's not in the budget right away, you could start out with this, but this is definitely the way to go. It's so nice, you just pull both levers, comes down, caps the bottle instantly, and send it off. It takes out the human error. We did have a little bit of inconsistency with crimps on this as well, and it was mostly the human error part because sometimes, you know, your arm gets tired or whatever, and you just don't fully push it down all the way and crimp it. But with this one, it gives you the same consistent crimp every single time, which was really nice. All right, now we're going to go into talking about our bottling system and how we set it up and clean it. Okay, the first thing we want to do is run sanitizer through this and sanitize everything. We have our keg down here with ice and sanitizer. So not only are we sanitizing, but we're also going to chill all these lines down at the same time. It's going to help with the foaming issue. So we have that run up into here. This is a shutoff valve that I actually added on here. It didn't come with the system, but it's really nice to have a shutoff valve here. 
Then what we're going to do is we're going to open all the fill valves here on the bottles. I'm going to divert the uh, CO2 line, the back pressure, all backwards, and it runs to the central pressure relief valve here. So we can open that up. You can see the sanitizer coming out. So we're actually back flushing the sanitizer all the way through these lines and making sure everything is sanitized and clean. All right, while we have our sanitizer still hooked up, I want to take a few minutes to go over this, the operation side of it, show you how everything works. It's all manual. There's nothing automated about it. So it's all manipulating these valves in order to fill these bottles properly. So the top valve is basically your intake valve. So if we move this to the left, we're going to intake gas, CO2. If we move it to the right, we're going to intake liquid off of our top rail here. Now the bottom one is our pressure relief valve. So we can decide whether we want to pull it forward and have the pressure relief fast out of the front, or if we could put it backwards. Now if you put it backwards, it comes down to this pressure relief valve. And the cool thing about this system, all these are tied together to this one pressure relief valve. So what that does, it allows you to fill all the bottles equally at the same speed and the same pressure. And that's a really nice feature of this. So it will take a minute to get this dialed in when you first start you know, your uh, bottling system. But once you get it dialed in, it's usually pretty good. Now to begin with, what we're gonna do is open this intake valve and we're gonna flood this with CO2. Then we're gonna pull this forward. And what we're doing here is we're actually purging the bottle of oxygen. So the CO2 comes all the way down to the bottom of the wand and it's putting the CO2 at the bottom. CO2 is heavier than air. So the concept is that it's gonna build CO2 and it's gonna purge the oxygen out of the top. So after you do your purge, then we're gonna let the bottle pressurize again. Then you're gonna move it from the gas over to the liquid. So now everything is equal. All the pressures are equalized now, so nothing is actually gonna come into this bottle. Now we do make sure that our regulator is set to come into the bright tank and into this at the same pressure. So we run off the same regulator. That way we know that we're actually completely equalized here. Then now we wanna turn this backwards and what this is doing, it's starting to send our pressure relief valve all the way back here. Now notice some, nothing is happening right now. We have to actually adjust this pressure relief valve. Now you can hear it hissing and now it's starting to fill. Now the more we open that pressure relief valve, the faster we're gonna fill. Now typically we would fill actually about that speed. You don't wanna to fill too fast or you're gonna have excess foaming problems. But once you get all these bottles loaded and they're all filling at that speed and you can really move through them pretty quickly. The system's already been sanitized and chilled down. So we're gonna actually open this valve and start running some beer through here. We're gonna flush a little bit of beer through these before we start. And that's it, we don't need a lot. We just wanna make sure that we're removing all that sanitizer that was left in the line and we're purging out that first shot of beer that comes through there. It's also gonna help equalize the temperature of the tank.